What's up everyone, I'm Don. And I'm Mike. And welcome to another episode of Teak Life Tastings where this time we are going to be tasting rum. There are some bad rums out there. I'm not gonna name any names, Captain, but there are some bad rums out there. You, where, what are you wearing? I was fishing. For what? You're gonna find out shortly. <sighs> Gotta right. have on the gear if you're gonna go fishing. That's what you fish in? A yeah. long sleeve shirt with, with beads? I have delicate skin. And the beads are for luck. Did you, you get lucky? No, I didn't get lucky. Well then throw those shits away. No. Typically in our Teak Life tasting episodes, we use our signature tequila flutes, but because of it, it's rum, rum, we gotta switch it up to our Teak Life cocktail glasses, which are available at teaklife.com. These are actually going to work out better for a rum, and we're gonna get the, the good smells, and this one, believe me, has a lot going on, which is okay. really cool. So I, I am really anxious. Let's talk about it a little bit. So it's about 40 bucks. Okay. And the color is, I mean, it's rum. So it's going to be golden brown, kind of a copper color. But there are some slight variances from bottle to bottle. Any idea why that could be? Mm, no. That took long enough. Well, I wasn't sure. Maybe I knew, but I don't. Well, you don't. How do you this, know though? Because I, I just asked you. And I said I don't. Man, get with it. So the aroma, smooth, inviting, complex flavors, oak and vanilla. Okay. Typically when you have an oak smell, it's because of barrels. You got it. Man, you're good. See that fishing out in that sun this, in, in the wintertime in Michigan, yeah, you know, it didn't affect you at all. Nope, not at all. Perfect, taste, it's gonna be rich. Oaky, obviously because of the, the barrel, some, but some taste of nutmeg, dried fruit, some pepper, some oak, sugar cane. Obviously sugar cane because that's representative of rum. Makes a lot of sense. It does. This particular rum is aged eight years in bourbon barrels. You're a whiskey guy, right? So yeah, bourbon barrel rum, can't wait. I'm gonna have to have you help me out because I am not the best when it comes to bourbons, when it comes to whiskey, I know enough to get by. Okay. But I'm, I'm gonna kind of lean on you a little bit. And supposedly this has a smooth, mellow finish. Okay. So, right. Captain, do you do you wanna wanna do the grand reveal? What we're gonna be doing today? This is wow. That is a good copper, nice brown color. That looks that looks really good. Yeah. It's um, beautiful. Grander rum. <laughs> This is the first. This is the first for us because we haven't done a rum yet on the show. We have not done a rum yet. Um, right away off the bat here on the back here, it says no additives. Nothing. Which, surprising. Um, yeah. But we'll see. Eight years. We're we're gonna talk a little bit more about you know the flavors that there's no additives because you know we're kind of in a world where I. I, I I think it's safe to say that the number one, or supposedly the number one rum company, they have a lot of additives, right? A lot of companies add sugar. Um, I think we, you and I have talked about adding sugar before. A lot of people, like, my opinion is, is a lot of companies take things and they add, they add all this stuff to it to hide the mm. natural um, flavor, pro flavor profiles of the product. Um, and on it, my gut tells me that people just don't want that anymore. You know, no. I mean, back in Prohibition, maybe. But well, they would have drank anything. Well, I mean, yeah, just to get their I mean, hands on any you know, alcohol. Rubbing rub, alcohol. Rubbing, rubbing Coke. That's where this... Rubbing know, Coke? Rum. Oh. Rum. I have a little bit of a cold because I was out on the water fishing, remember? It might be your lips are burnt, too. Sunburn. Maybe. Maybe. Could be so, that. But yeah, the, um, you know, it looks very rich to me like it just yeah the lights it's hitting it it's the bottle everything about it looks looks very promising yeah it's even etched on the side so it's, it's a great great presentation 
Uh, I, I like it. Let's crack this open. Let's get some smells in our Teak Life glasses. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this brand. Dandy Hart, you know, he is the founder of Grander Rum and you know me, I love a good story. And Dan DeHart has a great story. He was in finance and he just wasn't fulfilled. He wanted more out of life and a passion of his was the beverage industry, uh, developing a fantastic rum. So he searched for quite a while and he landed in Panama, which I don't know if Panama is actually known to be kind of a rum area or not. I'm, I'm I mean, fast. I've always known that Jamaica is the rum. Is, is Jamaica, Car Caribbean, so <clears throat> yeah. Jamaica, Jamaica and, rum, yeah, okay. Yeah, anywhere down there, really. Yeah, so he, wow. he um, you know, took a chance and created this great rum. It took him a, a, a while and he named it Grander. So Dan's out of uh, Florida. Do you know what Grander means? No. Um, no. I mean, I know it means grand, it's amazing, you know, it's yeah. big, all that stuff, but what a grand, man, you're sipping again already. I can't even get a smell. Well, you're giving them the profiles and the history. I'm getting, you know, ready to- I'm Getting drunk. No, I'm not. Oh, it's got a good smell. Oh, it's fishing, right? Keep, keep going. Carry I'm going, on. I'm going. Grander. So, you grander. grander. I was, I didn't know what it was either. So I had to be told that a grander is actually a, a pseudonym for Marlin. So you fish, did you see a marlin today? No, but I would have caught one if I did. Did you catch a minnow? Uh, no. We caught a sunburn. Well, that'll, well, that'll be good for tomorrow. That's why I got a long sleeve. So yeah, a grander is actually a marlin. And a marlin is known as an elusive fish. With that being said, Dan, to, to kind of find this whole flavor profile, exactly what he was looking for, it became quite elusive at one time. So it only seemed fitting to name it Grander Rum because he Makes wanted sense. something very particular, very exclusive, very different with no additives. So Grander, it just kind of fit. And the bottle, I think it's just really elegant and it stands out. Talk about, since you rushed it. Look, so to me, you know, when whenever you talk rum, like, you know, they're, they're the big boys out there on the marketplace, but they're very, you you have to mix them. Like, it, it, it's almost like a, you have to. And right away, since like you've already told the world, um, I already I jumped do. in and, uh, you know, took a couple of tastes here. This is, this isn't like anything else that I've tasted in the rum category. Like mm -hmm. you really, I mean, I guess the aging of it and the bourbon barrels and stuff like that's given us more of a bourbon like, yeah, like profile to it. But it's very, you know, antique life. We like the we like the neat product, right? And yeah. this is very, this is very palatable, very sippable. Um, something that you can, um, I would, I would pour it just like I would pour a nice scotch, oh. honestly. Yeah, I, I gotta give uh, my four cents now. And I think the smell, I'm picking up everything that we talked about, mm -hmm. or at least a lot of it. The flavor profile though, I think it's really smooth. Very smooth. Um, It's very flavorful. It's not syrupy whatsoever. So you can tell that it is authentic. Um. I'm I'm actually I'm really a big fan. I I went to me and my wife we went to a Caribbean restaurant not too long ago and we did some flights of rum. Mm -hmm. And the first one it, it was terrible. And you know for me to pour out any alcohol or say I'm not going to drink it. Look, I mean I'm Irish. We don't do that. No. And there were two of the three in the flight that were just really bad. The third one wasn't too bad. <clears throat> this by far blows away anything that I tasted. I really like this. I don't know with rum, you know, maybe one ice cube or a whiskey rock. It would probably or something definitely like that. be a little better, a little bit chilled. Um, you know, when you were mentioning the tasting profile, you mentioned some pepper. I'm not getting a lot of pepper or anything on it, so I'm surprised that um, mm -mm. maybe their palate's a little bit more refined than mine. But I'm not getting the pepper. I'm, I am getting the rest of it, though. I'm getting that, you know, dried fruit, you know, the oak, the sugar. Like yeah. I, I can get that, but I'm just not getting the pepper, which, to me, just sets it off even more. 
for you, it, for me, it's going in stages. So like I get something mm -hmm. up front, something in the middle, different, yep. and then a mellow finish with another flavor tone. Like, is it going in sequence for you as well? Yeah, it's, it is, um, it's not as like, it's not very noticeable. I mean, I get a little bit up front. Um, you know, it, it, it lingers a little bit, which is fine by me, uh, especially mm -hmm. if you're drinking it neat. Um, but yeah, I'm just not, and don't get me wrong guys, I'm, you know, I'm okay without the pepper. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, you know, sometimes there's a little too much, but this is, this is a, this is a great product. And I mean, for something that's been aged eight years, um, I don't know what, what other products they have out on the market or anything he's like that. He's got some other ones. If he's got stuff that's aged a little bit longer, I bet it's a, a lot more smoother as, as time goes on. You know, typically speaking, I mean, if he would have something in the 10 or 12 year range too, like I, I would be pretty surprised if it wasn't spectacular. You know, and that, that's a good point because I think on the website, you know, and, and please reference the website, it's pretty cool. Like they have marlins on it, fish. It's kind of a, an aquatic theme, which okay. is really different for me and I, I like it. I like things that speak to me, that are that are challenging, that, that challenge the market and, and, and the stat quo. So yeah. website's really cool. And I believe on the website there was a 12 year, but don't okay. quote me but I think there is one that's aged. Man, I think it would be phenomenal to get our hands on something like that. But getting back to this, aged eight years, yep. it has some tones where it does remind me of, it's hard to take you seriously in a way, but I'm trying. It, it It's really smooth. I like it. Um, I, I really like this. I like it a lot. I mean, this is, I'm glad for our first rum mm -hmm. on the show that we got something that is very authentic, that is natural, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit, you know, like one second, but man, it's it just, this this really is good. I would yeah, be proud to break good. this out um, when having a party and, you know, and, and stuff like that. I, cocktails though, you know, we like drinking things neat. We do. I mean, I would, Put it in a cocktail, but I almost think you, in a way, you're doing a disservice to give it, you know, to take away from the, some of that full body flavor. I agree with that, and I also will tell you this, again, my opinion: any mm. good quality um, beverage, okay, in my opinion, if you if you start mixing, like you wouldn't go and 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 you know do a scotch and soda with some eighteen year old, you know, like that, like it, what, Louis scotch, the scotch, not an eighteen year old. Like I'm just saying, like you know, um, I don't even know what you, you know, just said. <clears throat> I don't either. So, but good product doesn't need to be masked with by mixing it with uh you know any any type type of anything. If you're gonna if you're gonna like tone something down, in my opinion. Throw an ice cube in it, um, yeah. and, and call it a day, right? So uh, yeah. this is definitely a, a product that is very palatable, very sippable, very, you know, you know. I'm sure down south, you know, south in in the Caribbean, in South Florida, stuff like that, where rum is very very popular. Um, I'm sure these guys are, are are sipping it neat, sort of like our friends in Mexico, where you know, their tequila is neat. You know, they like it chilled. You know, most of them keep it like some folks keep a bottle of vodka in the, uh, you know, ice box, right? Yeah. You know, like, ice again, box it, ice the box. 50s? Look, I'm old, right? Good but, Lord. This is like 1929. I know. You get so, ice delivered? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an automatic maker in the machine now. So, but no, wow. a, a very good, very good product. Um, you know, where can it's, they get it? It's it's really good. So talking to Dan, because I, I had a really good conversation with Dan because you know we wanna we wanna know the passion behind mm -hmm. the spirit. You know, it, it's it's not just buying the bottle, it's not just tasting it, is there are stories behind everything that we try. And that's what we try to convey on the show. And talking to Dan, you know, there was there's a process. Mm -hmm. And really he was going distillery to glass. You know, no additives, no colors added, no sugar, which 
doing some of the research that we do, I found out there, there are some rum companies out there that actually add sugar. Yeah. Now, you know, we can get into the geeky stuff and say, yes, you can only add so much sugar to it. I, I'm not going to bore you with those details. You know, do your own research. But I don't understand why. Is it to make it more appealing? Because this, without anything added, is fantastic. I really, really like it. So this is made in the Ingenio San Carlos Distillery in Panama. I really didn't know that Panama was known for producing rum. You know, I understand they have sugarcane fields. It's a great atmosphere, you know, um, to be able to grow sugarcane, but I didn't know. I thought Panama you know, was kind of known for a Van Halen song. Okay. This is and what a I canal. Mean. You know, and a can yeah, and a canal. Yeah. See, so there you go. Now I think what they're doing is they're getting on the map for producing some great rums. And I, I like it. Now Grander has won some awards, okay. uh, had a gold medal, and th this is really impressive. In 2016, the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. That's a big one. Now if you know anything about competitions, that's the grander one. That's the one that you want to win some awards. Ultimate Spirits Competition as well. So they're doing some good things. Uh, I really like it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. There are so the website, make sure you check it out. There are some great cocktails on the website. What's really stuck out to me though is because we're tequila people, or yep. at least I am. I, I know you're kind of all over the place. I'm an equal opportunity drinker. You're an intoxicologist, man. Yeah. You know, proud of it. But they have a rum Paloma. Now, I know I said I wouldn't mix this. I would mm -hmm. rather drink it neat, but I'm down. We need a bartender on the show to make us different drinks that are on the website. I think we know a couple. I think we do. We, we do. We need somebody to sponsor a bartender for the show. So if there's somebody out there and you want to be on the show and sponsor us and be our personal bartender. Craft bartender. Yes. Mixologist. That's what we need. Yeah. But I would truly like to try a rum Paloma because you know I'm a big fan of Palomas. Yeah. I do this know This one, I don't know. So what, what's your ultimate rating? Where, where, where are we at? For a rum, I mean, mm. I got to say, it's 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 definitely approved. You know, yeah. there is, I you know, 40 bucks. It's a little bit more expensive than you know some of the stuff I'm used to seeing on the on the higher end of things, but I, I you know, uh, hey, there you go. Um, I think we'll need a bigger boat, uh, but it's it's definitely a a a very good you know if you like the scotches, if you like the bourbons, yeah. if you're in that market and you want to kind of explore into a rum, this is definitely yeah. something that you should get your hands on, and uh, you know. Give it a try. Uh, you never know. You know, for me, it 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 kind of like kind of is on the line mm -hmm. because it has that bourbon whiskey type of feel, but it's sweet. Yep. So for me, I do tend to you know kind of trend towards something a little bit sweeter because it, it it's just good. It's good to sip. I could sip this all day long. Like I can envision myself on your canoe, you know, out fishing for a day and just grabbing a bottle or, or a case and just stay out there all day. Me with my Irishness getting burnt yeah. after 10 minutes and, and just drinking this. If we like, had a case, we'd probably end up in Panama. I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> like, can you canoe to Panama? I don't know. Let's we'll try. Find, we'll find out. Let's, let's do the Straits of what? St. Clair can Shores? You, can you see like rolling through Panama Canal in a canoe? It hey might guys, it probably drop us down all the time. Drop us down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We'll get messed up, redirected, and go up north to the Mackinac Straits. Yeah. That's what will happen. But to me, Grander Rum, Teak Life approved, aged eight years. I would definitely love to try anything else that they have going on because I, I really am a fan. Agree. Um, this is probably the best rum that I have in my cabinet. Now, I, I don't have a lot of rums, mm -hmm. but I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan. I like what they're doing. I agree. Um, I can tell you that 
as far as what I've tasted so far in my cabinet, yeah. or stable as I called it earlier, right? It's definitely um, the top one, top contender now. Um, I do have a couple that I haven't opened yet, but okay. you know, maybe we'll get to those one day. I hope so. Um, so back to where you can get this from, very easy. It's about 40 bucks, like we said. You can just go to granderrum.com. If you're already visiting the website, you can click buy and it'll take you right where you need to get to. Absolutely easy. They made a great rum. I highly, Teak Life, Teak Life approved all day. Absolutely. I could be there, you could be there.